Hey y'all! Welcome to my channel, Melissa Loman Beauty. Um, today I'm going to show you a really cool um, trick. I'm going to show you how to fake a beach wave. Let's get started! To prep your hair, in the shower when you're conditioning your hair, make sure you comb it with a wide tooth comb. Don't comb it when you get out of the shower, just simply towel dry it. Be pretty gentle with it, just squeeze it dry with the towel. So you're kind of maintaining any amount of wave you can get, like especially for people with really straight hair like me, you want to make sure that you're not pulling it down um, too much. So today I'm going to use the Way, that's how you pronounce this, Way, Wave Spray. So you shake it up and then you spray it kind of root to end on all sections of your hair. Great. And then I would suggest parting your hair in a pretty natural spot. So, great. So grab your blow dryer. And I suggest using a professional blow dryer. And I use a, it's called a Rusk Deep Shine blow dryer. Um, I feel like it has a really enough heat and enough power that it works really well. I'm taking off my concentrator. And if you have a diffuser to put on it, use that. Um, let's get it, let's get it dry. And then I'll show you how to kind of mimic a beach, a natural wave with a curling iron. Something to note is that I've already kind of air dried my hair for about 10-15 minutes while I was putting my makeup on. That's pretty important to um, not have your hair sopping wet. And then I'm just really rough drying my hair and I'm actually scrunching it while I blow dry. Um, just to try and maintain as much wave as possible and I'll probably flip my head upside down a couple times just to get a little volume at the root. I had it on cool. You want it on a hot setting. You want to make sure that your hair is completely dry before you use your curling iron because you don't want to singe your hair, that's just not a good idea. And I can feel that it's still pretty damp, so... Alright, let's move on to curling the hair. Okay, so my hair is completely dry. Um, it has a little bit of texture and a little bit of tousled, but it's... To me, it's too messy, um, so this that's why I'm going to take my curling iron and kind of mimic a fake um, beach wave or a fake natural wave. Um, and this is a great technique also for people who have that curly hair underneath, but the top part is straight. Okay, so I'm using a one inch curling iron, and I'm using my Hot Tools Marcel iron, and you can use one that has um, a spring, like a normal curling iron. Okay, so I'm taking kind of um, maybe like two inch sections of the hair. You don't want to take too small of sections, but you also don't want to take too big of sections. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of wrapping around the curling iron, kind of like a wand, and you could totally use a wand for this. Sometimes I'll, I'll use the, the clamp because it'll make both sides of the hair hot. And that was, that was great just adding a little bit of wave to it and you can just let it cool. Don't mess with it too much right away. And I'm gonna do this all over my head. I'm going to vary the direction that the curls go so that it looks pretty natural. And I'm gonna vary the size and shape of them as well so it also just looks like a regular curly head of hair. No one will even know that I have straight hair today. That was a particularly large section, um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and curl it like with the clamp so that it curls up a little bit better and doesn't fall flat halfway through my day. 
And I also kind of pulled the ends down, straight down, so that it looks kind of more loose. I am taking the curls in the direction away from my face for just this part by my face, especially right in front of my ear. You can kind of see the split. And then once I get past my ear, I'll go back and forth with the curls. Another thing to note is to make sure your curling iron is very, very hot before you even start curling. If it's not, your curls are going to fall limp and you're going to be annoyed and irritated and it's not going to turn out the way you want it to. So just make sure you have it nice and hot before you start curling. The reason I'm not clipping up sections of my hair for this particular style um, is because I want it to look a little messier, a little more natural, um, and I want it to be a really quick style. This is great for like summertime, if you're feeling like you want to look beachy but polished. This is a great summer hairstyle. It's harder for me to wrap my hair around like a wand in the back of my head, so that's why I'm using mostly just a normal curl technique. And I kind of grab the hair in the middle, right in the middle of the strand. I'll show you a good example here. I already did this one, but kind of grabbing the hair right in the middle of the strand, clamping it down, curling, leaving the ends out, making sure I hold it for three seconds, and then I'm pulling the ends, pulling it down. And you kind of want the ends to feel like textured and natural, so leaving the ends out will accomplish that. So this side is a little trickier for me. Trying really hard not to burn myself. I'm kind of, I'm leaving the natural texture of the hair while I curl, rather than pulling it out straight, making sure that it's this perfect wave. I'm leaving the natural texture while I curl, so that way it kind of looks imperfect. It's okay if you don't curl every single piece. This is meant to be kind of a no fuss, messy look. I'm going to check the, the back of my head, make sure it's looking fairly even. And I think it's good. There's definitely some straight pieces back there, but I think it's fine for what I'm looking for today. Great, so I'm using Aveda's Control Force. I'm using the Stronghold Hairspray because it gives a little bit more texture to the hair than like a softer hold hairspray. I don't wanna be able to like run my fingers through it today. I want it to just hold and be there and be messy and crazy and wonderful. I'm feeling really good about this look today. I kind of feel like I have a lion's mane. Well, thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video. See you next time.